Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. And this week we are asking the big question, what is regeneration? And our answer, the bigger answer, comes to us today out of the Old Testament, the book of law known as Deuteronomy, which is the second reading is what that means out of the Greek. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Hear now these words. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Pretty simple words, aren't they? This, if you know anything about the scriptures, is what Jesus quoted when he said the first and greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with heart, soul, and strength. But notice that there is a very important word, a very short word, word, and that word is all. It's not love the Lord your God with some of your heart, some of your soul, some of your strength. It's all. And here's the thing. We can't do this on our own. It's impossible to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your strength, if you're trying to do it with only your strength, only your soul, only your heart. And that's why regeneration is so important. To be regenerated means that you have the resources of God through His grace by faith making it possible for you to love with all heart, all soul, and all strength. It's when our image of God's image made right within us, which is what regeneration is doing, that we then are able to be tapping into all of the power and the abilities of God to free us from our binding, our slavery in sin and the sinful nature in which we are born. And so if you want to be able to follow this greatest commandment, then you need to be reconciled with God. And how do you do that? By asking him to make you new. This isn't a once and done thing. It's an every day, sometimes an every hour, every minute, every second thing. Lord, make me new. Make it possible for my heart, my soul, and my strength to be tied to your heart, to your soul, and your strength so that all of me is able to appreciate and celebrate all of you. And I hope that that will be your prayer today. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next daily devotion.